walking down the track I've got tears in my eyes Trying to read a letter from my home If this train runs me right I'll be home tomorrow night Cause I'm 900 miles from my home Hi, I'm the offender. I hope that's okay with you. All right, here we are. Next section of Castlevania. We're already getting our butt kicked. That's just great. Oh, by the way, I did some searching, and I think I figured out something else. Uh, so when you see the the Roman numeral twos and threes, that's given to you every time you kill 20 enemies and then 30 enemies in the same playthrough. Can I throw that up there? No. Okay. If I had the axe, I could get them easier. Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna... Just make these guys take me off more health as the game goes forward. Anyway, I don't think I'll make it far, but this is a training grounds area. This is also perhaps where uh, extra lives may come in handy, because if that's cumulative across lives, you can start to see what that adds up. All right, we'll start back from the beginning. Hunchbacks. Hunchbacks are the worst. All the enemies I face. But the fact that we just went and destroyed an entire room of hunch, you know, Frankenstein and Igor is really just like hunchback on steroids. And we're at the same place we were just a minute ago. That's fine. Every time we play, it's all about learning and growing and getting new skills. Getting down to patterns. And each time we can do better. Not that time, clearly. Or that time, even. Or perhaps not this time, the way I'm going. Wow. We're gonna burn through these lives real fast, aren't we? Alright, that's a start. This is the place where perhaps the axe would do us better. Oh, oh, the stopwatch. This might actually be... Up, and then I get... I'm like, oh, yeah, stopwatch! Oh, no, I lose the stopwatch. Not exactly my best timing. On anything but the bosses, the stopwatch has proven to be really useful. Okay, let's make our way up. I don't think the dagger would do us that much good anyway. Okay, okay, get up here real quick. Now it seems like the secret to these skeletons is moving into them. Making them, yeah, make them back up, and the odds are they won't really hit me. And again, almost dead. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just keep going. I would like to think because they have this area back here, there's something back here? No. Now, what are these red skeletons? Don't like. Oh! They can't be killed. No. But I can! I'm not afraid to throw this holy water if I need to. I did not need to go up. Alright, well, at least we're... 
I was about to say making progress, then we promptly get slapped around by uh, hunchbacks. Let's take out this guy over here. And I am just batting a thousand on these guys. Yeah. a little bit better. It'd be better if we could stop taking damage, but... So it goes! Okay, move into him, move into him, make him back up, and then... get up here, and over... Nope. Dang it. That we had it. That's fine, we'll just keep it trying. But first you don't succeed. Try another few billion times and eventually something will happen. I was hoping he'd wandered off the screen. But he didn't. Can I go this way? Don't let me? No, I don't think so. I don't know if I can walk over them when they're in their down position, but I'm not even going to, to try it. It just seems risky. Okay, well before we go up, I'd like to... Is there anything gained from going up here? I don't know what these guys are on. Hey, back, go away. Go away. Money. What's that? That's a heart, okay. Okay, let's get out of here. A little bit further. Hopefully this means we're gonna respawn from here next time when if and when we die. And what's with these guys? Well okay, I can duck beneath those. And I can also shoot oh and they back up too. Alright. Fine. better when they throw him down because then I can just hit him and not worry about it. Yeah, fine, I'll just sit here and whip you all day, I don't care. How many hits do you take? Man. Okay. Mm, axe, alright, I'll, I'll take the axe. More red skeletons, and what have you got? More hearts. Any health in here? Health, health. No, alright. Hey, he wanted off the screen. That means you don't count anymore. Go away. Oh. Okay, I can walk over them. Go away. Be gone. I, I don't want to play with you. No, I will not make out with you. Ah, oh, that was... That was silly of me. He just wandered off the screen. He's like, no, I don't want any of this. It is amusing how some of these enemies, as you go forward, get... I mean, the, the half of the secret is just walking into them. Yeah, then they go away. Now, these guys are not... Let's say these guys are not so bad, except for when they do that and the whip doesn't... Take out the axe. Alright, now 
That's my axe time. Okay, we've got a whip. Let's see if we can get any further this time. Try to pause you. We got this guy. Now, if I could crouch and turn at the same time, that would be useful. Okay, that can just pass by my head. And he's gone. Okay, so we just have to wait. Crouch. Oh, come on. Give me the crouch. Why no crouch? Take like a mid, a billion hits to kill too. And we still haven't seen the boss. I don't even know what the boss is like yet. Okay, get rid of you. Let you be gone. Slow down you. Get rid of you. I wonder if the cross can permanently kill the red skeletons. The only thing that's better is try to kill this guy from over here. Get over here. Hi there. There we go. Okay. Now we can slow you down. Let's get some of this stuff over here because I'm going to assume it might be good. Hopefully it does not cause that Axe Man to respawn. Axe Man! That sounds like the name of Christopher. All right, number two. So now we can do axing twice as much as before. Let's go away. Okay, we'll just have to wait and see what he does, and then as it comes back. Oh, come on. That should have counted for hitting it. You know, we had that game. Oh, that's true. Ah, oh, come on. Duck. Duck. Don't go down the stairs. Duck. That's what I wanted to see. gonna count. Alright, where are we at? Here, here. Great, we're gonna, we're gonna die first thing on. Oh! Alright, and back from the beginning. At least now we know a bit more. Okay, that mostly worked well, except for taking that damage. Get over here. Oh, now you come back? Really? Oh my gosh, that is the cheapest thing. I'm off the screen, you can't get me. There. Look at that. All right, that was just me not paying attention to what was above me. Okay, they jump over me, they jump over me. I'm sure there, there are people who have been playing Castlevania for 20 years now going, Dude, it's not that hard. Come on, dude, what's wrong with you? And that's fine. That's okay. 
I'm doing my thing. This is, you know, first time I've ever played this game. Did you, did you respawn or did you come down from above? I think you came down from above. And I'm okay with that. If you want to drop down and, and get into my sphere so I don't have to try to climb these stairs, I'm good with that. Okay, and then get up here. Take this guy back up. The further I move along the X coordinate, the more he comes, moves that direction. That's all good. Okay, and then our red guys. those things the most. Even more than Medusa. Because these Medusa heads are predictable enough. These guys just all over the place. Alright, there's nothing up there that I recall that I cared about. Let's just keep going. Now these that guy has the respect enough that when he leaves the screen, he doesn't come back. He doesn't pull the, oh, I'm off the screen, I'm back, I'm off, I'm back. No, he leaves, he stays gone. Maybe I can trick him. Can I, that's not like that. And then walk over here and get him to, well, I was hoping he would walk into the fire. That he would walk into the fire. Well, I walked into that. Okay, so my whip doesn't destroy it if it's if I'm in tiny whip mode. But he does run away. Can I make this guy go off the screen if I go like this? No, he just goes the other way. Alright. Okay, that worked. I missed out the axe. There we go. Come on. Get, get out of my face. There. But no axe. Uh, no, maybe one of these guys will be good enough to drop something for me. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath for that either. Oh, come on, I pushed down. I should have been given that. Down here, let me go by, and then... Alright, fine. You know, for big guys in armor, they sure do run away a lot. Okay, that worked better. And then duck. Come on. That you're gonna get me, didn't you? But you didn't. Because instead, oh, I got you. Alright, let's try something here. Let's just get up here like we want to. Alright, then we can get rid of this. Get down here. Okay, Axeman, where you at? Yeah. 
Maybe if I can just avoid him entirely. I don't think I can do that. No, but I can now just stand up here. That works. Not as elegant as I would have liked, but it worked. Alright, which way are we going? This way? Now the whip will get it in this mo this strength will get it even if it's uh, even if he throws it underhand. Okay, that's good to know too. No. I was gonna hope. I was hoping there's some chicken in the wall. Okay, what's past here? What is past here? Right, furthest we've ever gone. Oh no! Okay, die. All right, that wasn't horrific. I don't like those, but they're, that wasn't that horrific. Oh, cross, okay. I like the cross. Not high enough. So you want to shoot, shoot, and then cross it. And I got hit. So it goes. Chicken, ah, uh -huh. chicken, yes. Okay. Oh, God, got it. I wish you could jump off the, the stairs or something. Oh, Medusa heads and these guys. And that's it for that. All right, let's give this one more shot here from the beginning. Get over here. Did he hit me off camera? He hit me when he was off the other side of the world. Get over here. Take your medicine. Man. Where would they get all these bones from anyway? I mean, they, are they like pulling them off their rib cage? Is that the idea here? And, come on. Fair fast enough. There. Go back, collect some hearts. You think that gap that I could just jump down there get the speed going, but Trucking. Get, get out of here, Igor. All right, made it through to here. We we took damage, but we got all of our lives, so that's something, right? All right, he's changed off the screen. So now we're going over here with this guy. So which is better for us, the axe? Or the holy water. And duck. Now, what do you think of that? I'd say the holy water then. So we can back those guys up into a corner. We can holy water them to death. Yeah, all right, that's good. Got the number two. Does that mean that it'll give me the number three later? I don't know. 
Guess we'll find out when we get there. We just have to stay alive. Get out of here. here. No, don't go up just yet until he's there. Until that red skeleton's out of the way. Ah, we got a three, okay. So now we can go through, through, right now, triple holy water, but where was that cross at? Was it over here? I think it was the other side of that, of that X man. He wants to ask you some questions. Oh, come on. We had that. All right. The axe doesn't work when then they're when it's a small whip. Get out of here. All right. I'll take care of your brothers. I swear I hit the whip before it hit me. Oh, there we go. Okay, got an axe. Have an axe, will travel. Now, as a kid, I didn't watch that much horror. Uh, and most, to be honest, most horror movies, I would say they bore me. Uh, the ones that are just gore, just make me you guys go, okay, whatever, that's just gross just for the sake of being gross. The ones that frustrate me are where it seems like they construct this elaborately unfair universe, or just ridiculous, it's like the, the Saw movies. I think that's the dumbest thing. I'm gonna show you how much your life matters by torturing you. Like, what? Oh, the axe hit me. That's gonna get for not paying attention. All right. You know the the notion. Of, oh, I'm gonna put you in the situation where it's either let yourself be killed or sacrifice a limb or something to show you the value of life and how much you it means to you. What? Who the heck are you to decide this, dude? And besides the fact that you're saying, oh, I'm not killing you, I'm just saying the situation. No, you're not. You're, you're still a murderer. You still suck. I don't care what your reasoning is. But take the Freddy Krueger movies. So the Freddy Krueger movies are bad guy doing bad things to kids. Okay, not cool. So they put him in a burger and they kill him. Okay, again, not cool. I think they supposed to be something like uh, he got off the court case on a technicality and so they're mad and they took justice in their own hands yada yada so what's his revenge he gets to torment their kids not them to me that's that would be at least some form of karmic justice as he gets to go over after them but no he gets to attack their kids who are innocents they had nothing to do with him being killed they just happen to be you know the spawn of the the people who uh from the furnace it seems like a, a vaguely just universe that would allow this monster to live would be like, nah, no, nah, sorry. You can go after the adults in their dreams and kill them, even though, really, you were the bad guy in the first place, but uh, for you to go after their kids, and I know, it's, I guess, more exciting to see pretty young girls attack than it is, you know, saggy old men or something. Part of the reason why there was one series of games I really like, maybe we'll get a chance to go through them, called Fatal Frame. And what makes them interesting is the protagonists are always women. And so they're basically already in a societal situation of what should be powerlessness, which makes you want to care for them, makes you want to you know, protect them in some way. Oh, come on. Guess I got an extra life. And that's a, a again a societal thing that well if you're if you're female that means you're weak and need to be protected which I don't know I met some strong women and yes I know I know genetically men tend to be stronger and bigger and so on and so forth hit harder that's why with my sisters I wasn't allowed to ever they could hit me 
but I couldn't hit him back because, you know, they're a girl and you hit harder and whatever. But anyway, horror movies, uh, or, or the whole Jason thing. All right, so he's he's killed, and then why is he going to become a killing machine? Um, because. No, no, it's... That's, again, there is there's a karmic sense of injustice going on here. Now, a horror movie where things are going on, I, can, I don't mind the, the notion that you know, innocent people being attacked. That's the notion of horror is you didn't, you may not have deserved this. And for the long time, there was always the sin factor that they put into the stories and movies of, well, you had sex, you had, you know, you did drugs, you drank, you whatever it was. Oh, dang it, I thought I had that. But in all reality, true horror is the innocent suffering for no reason. Why are they attacked? Well, they're just there. Okay, he's gone. And that's that's horrifying when there's no justification. But again, in a in a karmic universe, why do these evil guys get all this power to do their horrible stuff just because they the universe sucks? Ever to kill these guys. Come on. Especially when they keep vanishing off the screen. This really should have been caught play testing, folks. There. Alright. Proceeding forward. And maybe that's my main objection to most horror movies, is is the karmic imbalance. It's, it's one thing if this bad person has all these powers, but in that case, well, there's... The universe is more about balance than most other things. Yes, it's a struggle for survival and all that, but let's face it, if you are the apex predator, there's gonna be something that can take you out. Or for Pete's sake, the you know, hippopotami are vegetarians, but they will mess you up. We're gonna go over here. Okay, I wanna come back, get the stuff. You out. And really, that's my complaint, is that they that evil in these movies and stories just gets to keep coming back. Now, the case of something like Dracula, I think the, the concept here is that he's not so much a person as he is a, a cosmic force, if you will, or, you know, the embodiment of of evil. And okay, I can I can get that. Duck! Come on, you. Come on. There. Gotcha. Is it over here? No. I think the chicken's on the next area. Uh, where, where'd the cross go? I don't remember the cross. I know there's a cross around here somewhere. And I want it. Even though I'm probably going to die soon. Oh, come on. One, two. There. Is there a cross over here? Is this it? Nope. Maybe it's just a random drop and I just got lucky. Nope, there it is. Or at least you cannot walk up the stairs. Oh, but you can still hit me. Come on. Uh, okay. Well, that's it for this time, folks. Thanks for playing with me. I'm The Offender. I hope that's been okay with you. Bye now.